Hi Capricorn, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person who ghosted you and how their life has been since they left. Now I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. And these are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. Now this content is made for mature audiences, so viewer discretion is advised. I will be reading the energies as they come out out. So if you are someone easily triggered, I'm giving you fair warning. This is general as well, and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Now let's go ahead and jump right in. The person who ghosted Capricorn, how has their life been since they left? Last shuffle. They're trying to manifest love and themselves feeling really good. However, they keep thinking about past disappointments. So even though they're manifesting love and it might be showing up around them because of the fact that they're looking at what didn't work out or the disappointment from the past, they are not seeing the love around them. The hangman is at the bottom of the deck. So this person is very much in limbo and they're not sure what to do. We do have Pisces, Gemini, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, energy that comes out so far. Okay. So the magician, the king of cups and that five of cups here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and clarify and see what's underneath the surface of these energies. We're going to start with the magician. They're basically in this state of fake it till you make it but that past disappointment is really hanging heavy over them. So we do have Sagittarius energy temperance card coming out and the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. So Scorpio energy, there's a lot of major um, reflections here and changes happening for this person. And these are long-term because it's major arcanas here, not just, you know, minor things. These are major things that they're reflecting on. So manifesting, you know, things to work out and be harmonized and trying to move on from the past and have a rebirth and give things a second chance in love, give things a second chance to feel different, um, shedding old skin even. And that's a metaphor, of course, for some of you that don't know that, um, the judgment card here, they're releasing their old ways and embracing their new, um, you know, whatever that is spiritual journey that they're on, which they're trying, but you know, that five of cups does hang over them. Let's clarify the king of cups. They're trying to be more in touch and in tune with their feelings. The Hermit card coming out, so Virgo energy, as well as the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I do have Libra as well. Okay, so this person's trying to be very connected with their emotions here, take leadership of their life, feel more with their emotions. The Hermit card, they're spending time alone, and this is them going within themselves. There are some things, though, that they are not reflecting on, that they're not looking at you know, as they do this soul journey. And these are things that are hidden within this person. These are deeply suppressed things that don't feel very good. And it's a rough road for this person to go down. Um, it is for anyone to go down with this kind of stuff. But this person is trying to reflect, spend time reconnecting with who they are, get in touch with their emotions, but some things are very difficult and they don't want to look at them right now. Um, so they're not talking to anyone. It's not only you. Capricorn, it does feel like it's people around them. They need to spend time alone and figure out what it is they want, where they're going, what they're doing, who they are, and letting go of the things that have been holding them back. So let's go ahead and clarify that five of cups. They're disappointed that they didn't fight harder 
for love. So we have the five of wands and a 50, 50 energy and the lovers is at the bottom of the deck. So, um, they weren't in a state, I'm going to say it like this Capricorn, they were not in a state to really fight for love because they needed to heal some things within themselves. And like I said, there are some things suppressed within this person. We all have deeply suppressed feelings of things that have happened. We kind of hide them in the darker corners of our life because we don't want to look at them. And those things need to be worked on first uh, before they can actually give love 100%. But they are disappointed, you know, of how the drama happened between the two of you. They're also disappointed of how they didn't fight hard enough, um, that they gave up but they're like, I, I gave something, but I gave up on love. And so I do have Gemini and also Leo energy that comes out. They wanted, they felt like it was just too challenging that because of the things that have happened in their past, love became too challenging for them to hold on to a relationship with you, but not only you, other people as well. This person has gone through a lot of relationships that have not worked out, um, family, friends, you know, colleagues, love, and it's because they have things that they have to work on within themselves first before they can feel good enough to love others. They have to love themselves first. So um, that, that's something that they're working on right now. And if they didn't give you an explanation, it's difficult for this person to even explain that because they didn't use their emotions before. They didn't feel with their emotions and express through emotion. They just overthought things or gave up and said, I'm out, I'm out of here. So they have to practice patience at this time and it is challenging at times. They're also tired of trying to prove themselves to other people. Um, but at the same time, they feel like they didn't give other people explanation to why something's happening, why they're acting a certain way, why they're having a, a bad day, a good day, whatever. Um, they just lacked that. So let's go ahead and get some messages. What is this person holding back from telling Capricorn? I really hope that this person does come around to talk to you at some point when they're feeling better um, because they don't want you involved in the very difficult things that they're going through. I feel like Capricorn, you also had lent your hand, you know, you, you gave them a helping hand and told them they can talk to you about anything and they know they could. It just was very difficult for them to do. Um, love is a battlefield for this person. And so every time they try to love or love shows up in their life, it becomes a huge battle, a huge challenge. And it just feels like it goes into, you know, destruction, um, of something that is beautiful being turned into something that can be, um, a battle between two people or them keeping it. And that's because of the fact that they have things in their past that are too dark for people to handle. So my past is too dark for you to handle. And this is how they feel about it. They don't want pity. They don't want sympathy. You know, they don't want to talk about it. They're very closed off from talking to people about it. Now they have to go through this journey on their own and really reflect and look at those things that just don't feel good in their life and start to heal those things. And that's where they're currently at right now. You're too much drama for me. And this comes as, uh, you know, you try to fight for this person, you, you know, and what happened between the two of you, the drama that happened between the two of you, even if it was something so minimal, they just felt like this is too much. I can't handle this right now. And it would have, made you look at them. This is how they felt. This would have made you look at them. If they fought with this, like let the drama go on that you would have thought less of this person. But the fact that they disappeared without giving you explanation or answers, or just said, I can't do this and didn't really explain why that 
really made you look at their character and who they are differently because you were left to question things and you had no answers. So you had to come to your own conclusions of why things happen. And that's very difficult. Um, so I do hope that once this person heals, they at least, even if you don't want to take them back, be friends with them, whatever the case may be, that they at least come to you with an explanation and an apology because you know you are too good for me this is how they feel they feel that you're too good for them you know they're going through a lot of things they have a lot you know love just doesn't last for them because they have these unhealed wounds um when things get too much drama even if they're the one to create the drama meaning if they're not opening up to you and you keep saying i need you to talk to me and then it turns into an argument of some kind disagreement or just very awkward you know tension between the two of you that's where they start to feel bad about this is just like the past and i should have fought harder i don't know why i didn't but you know that's after the fact that they think about these things and i'm sorry for the pain i caused you this person really is you know apologetic towards that they just need to Find a way to communicate that to you, whether it is through a text, whether that is through a voice message or showing up and saying, hey, Capricorn, you were a great person. It had nothing to do with you. I have a lot going on in my life. It's very difficult. And I just want you to know I appreciate you. And I'm sorry that I put you through this. You know, those are the things that I know you would appreciate, Capricorn, more than anything, is just an apology and explanation. So that way you don't have to sit there and come to conclusions and and wonder within your own thoughts of why certain things happen between the two of you, um, which makes 1000% 1000% sense because <laughs> it's something that kept coming to mind and really wanted to roll off the tongue. But you know, this is what I have for you. If this resonates with your situation, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.